I quit. I'm done. I'm done. Testing, 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 testing. What is going on, guys? It's Pat Daly from TrueTransient.com. It's been a while since I've said that. It feels kind of good. Um, I'm here in Florida, and I'm here to tell you, I quit. I quit the journey from New York to Mexico. I'm a quitter. Damn, son. So I, I stopped the journey. I uh, stopped in Savannah, Georgia, uh, and I just wanted to shed some light on the events that led up to this and also give you some updates on what's gonna happen with the channel True Transient in the next coming months. So let's hop into that right now. So yeah, guys, I'm here in Florida, my home state. Uh, last you saw of me on YouTube was in New Jersey. I was canoeing through a creek and in the Trenton, New Jersey uh, ghetto. No, it's not a great neighborhood. Not a good right neighborhood. neighborhood. From New Jersey, I continued down the coast. I kept on going, paddling. Uh, every day, basically, uh, meeting new people. Meeting old friends. Making new stories and just having a blast, frankly. When doing a journey like this, just you on the canoe, paddling out there. So I had a lot of time to think and mull over what I was doing and every day, you can even see it in day one, uh, there was a glimpse of kind of doubt about whether I could do this or not, whether I could get all the way to Mexico. I feel like I'm not totally bought into this idea because it's such a, it's such a long time. And I think it was very telling. Just doing it even after one day, I experienced the reality of it. You can practice all you want, but until you get into the, the meat and bones of the journey, you don't know how it's gonna be. You don't know, you can't really predict how it's gonna turn out. So before I even started the journey, I had the idea, New York to Mexico in a canoe um, without realizing how it would really be. So far it's been, it's been hard, man. It's been hard. <laughs> it's been fun, it's been challenging, it's been really hard. I continue down the coast and you'll see that in episodes that I'll be releasing. I'll be releasing uh, longer form episodes uh, in a more scheduled manner, so you'll see more content. And then I got to North Carolina. I crossed the border of North Carolina. North Carolina. And that was kind of a checkpoint for me. And I made a conscious decision from there, from literally at the border, uh, that I wouldn't be continuing to Mexico after Florida. I would just be ending in Florida. I probably could have stopped there and been like, okay, I'm, I'm good. Uh, but I wanted to at least make it to Florida. It started getting cold. <laughs> so yeah, winter's coming. Winter's coming. That was pretty rough. And when it's cold and when you're living out in the cold, I was camped out at night. I was out in the cold in daytime. Your body is using a lot of energy to keep you warm. It made everything different. It made the journey not as enjoyable. Every aspect of it was harder. You know, and, and this is something to be expected. It's an adventure, you know, hard things are gonna happen, but uh, my morale went down. I wasn't as uh, happy and enjoying the journey as much, and I just wasn't in the moment. I was just thinking about not being there, and, and that's not good for anyone. That's not good for your well-being. And then, in South Carolina, I hit my head. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm under a bridge right now, I was jumping from here to there because my canoe filled up with water from a wake of a boat. I pulled the canoe over here, I jumped over and I fell and hit my head and I got knocked out for a little bit. Uh, almost got a concussion and I sat and thought just in this dazed and confused state really why I was doing this and when what was gonna keep me going and, and I I vowed to keep going after that. I, I didn't quit in South Carolina and I vowed to keep going. I was like, I have to make it to Florida. I have to make it to Florida. So I made it to Georgia and more things kept happening and I was just drained. I was drained. I got, in a, I got to a motel and I looked at the map from Savannah, Georgia to Jacksonville. I was gonna end in Jacksonville, Florida and it was just wilderness 
wilderness, wilderness, swampy, just swampy bullshit. No one around. I just knew if I kept going, I would, you know, I would make another accident and it could be potentially more life-threatening than the last uh, and that I just wouldn't be enjoying it. That was it. That was it. I was done and I vowed to quit in Savannah and I went to Florida and here I am. I'm done with the journey. So although the journey didn't turn out necessarily the way I planned it to, um, it was still an amazing experience. I mean, I canoed over 800 miles. I met so many amazing people. Stay tuned because the episodes are coming out on this channel. You'll be able to check it out and enjoy what happened in between the moments I just shared with you. I'd like to thank everyone I met on the journey, everyone who helped me start the journey, donated, bought a t-shirt. I'd like to thank my sponsor, Golden Hawk Canoes. Until next time, guys, peace out.